And in today's episode, we're going to discuss two important aspects of life in Kenya, healthcare and education. We'll also touch on how to build a social network in your new home. Let's start with healthcare. Kenya has a mix of public, private, and charitable clinics and hospitals. Your first point of contact for minor health concerns is likely to be a dispensary, which registered nurses run. Dispensaries handle outpatient services for skin conditions, colds, and even uncomplicated malaria cases. You'll need to visit a health center for more serious health issues. These medium-sized facilities serve around 80,000 people and are staffed by nurses, pharmacists, lab technicians, and other medical personnel. However, doctors are usually found at larger hospitals, such as country and district hospitals, which provide more specialized care. While public health care in Kenya is considered average, most people who move to Kenya opt for private hospitals and clinics. These facilities offer faster services, shorter waiting times, and more comfortable accommodations, which is why many foreign residents prefer them. Now, let's talk about finding schools for your children. Kenya's education system follows an 844 model, eight years of basic education, four years of secondary school, and four years of university. If you're moving to Kenya, you can find some schools that follow the British, German, or French systems. Schools like the International School of Kenya and Roslyn Academy, both located in the Westlands, are excellent options for families who are looking for the American or Canadian curriculum.